Okay, episode five of I Love You. Let's just get that on screen and dive straight in. Don't know why I even had headphones on. Motherfucker. That, that stays in. That's staying in. I don't give a shit. Me fucking up by for putting that on my fucking monitor. I'm going to keep that in. Finally, I get to have some fun. This party has been... This party has not been that great so far. You must really love pranking people. Judging by the look on your face. So, what exactly is your plan? <laughs> the maniacal glare on her face. Yes! <laughs> All right, but just a fair warning, before we go through the, with this prank, prank, I'll explain the details at the bar down or upstairs. The bar. Your friendly, your friends are definitely not going to be happy. And what's about to happen? No, and with what's about to happen, they might not even forgive you for this. Okay, if you're saying things like that, then I'm not sure. Sucks that they're both ignoring me, but I wouldn't want to hurt them to get hurt. Don't worry, they won't be harmed. Have my word. You're legitimately a random person that she met like 24 hours ago, and she doesn't even know that you're that person. So I highly doubt that your word means shit to her. So, will you be my partner? Why are you Persona 5 protagonist looking motherfucker? <laughs> so, why are we here at the bar? I'm going to ask the bartender for some help. Why the bartender? We'll need to. We'll need him to make things more convincing. Okay, what is this prank anyway? We're gonna prank call your friends. What? That's it? A prank call? You're kidding me, right? I could I could come up with something way better than a, a lame prank call. You'd be my partner for the pranks, I mean. Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm down for anything as long as, I, as no one gets hurt. Let's do this. High five? No? Okay then. In the bar we go. <laughs> he was trying to be romantic and sexy. <laughs> the heck are you smiling for? Stop that. Just trust me on this. So these friends are. These two are the f friends that came with you. Yeah. Oh boy. All right. Since you said their phone, their phones were turned off, we will we'll be going straight to voicemail. This will work fine. Please leave a message message after the tone. Yo, I'm just li letting you know your friend is at the bar with me. She's had a few too many drinks. Oh my gosh, and she won't stop. Because you guys ditched her. She's mad drunk right now. I think I see where this is going. <laughs> I like the malicious smile. Boys, are my only <gasps> friends. Feels so betrayed right now. <gasps> I cr I need to drink all my sorrows away. Give me another beer. You heard that? Well, anyway, I'm just gonna take her home with me. I'll show her how to have a good time when we arrive at my place. <laughs> hey! You're going a little too far now there, buddy. Now stop. Stop? You weren't against this earlier. You were really, in you were really into it, too. 
because you didn't tell her everything, you little bitch. <laughs> Just stop already. Gonna... All right, I'm done. Calm down. See, the call ended. Better have. I swear it, it did. Hey, you two. Why are you up here at, at the bar? Great, more trouble. You don't look old enough to be here. Show me your ID. We're not up here to drink. Here it is anyway. Also, if you would let my friend stay up here with me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Ah, of course. Sorry, I didn't recognize you any sooner, sir. What would you guys like to drink? Go ahead, ask for anything to drink. I need to be careful around this stalker. If he has that kind in that kind of influence, I'll take a plane of glass of some juice, please. Okay. Well, what about you, sir? I don't. He's like, what the fuck? I'll pass on the drinks. I need you to do something for me. My friend over here got ditched by her friends. We both decided to prank them. So what do you need me to do? When do they come? When they come? Or, uh, when they do come up here looking for her, can you tell them that? Tell them. Uh, huh, I can't talk. Can you tell them she left the party drunk with a dude? Sure. What do they look like? It's the girl, it's the two girls to the left and right. One's blaring, wearing a black dress with a black mask, the other is a, other a blue dress and red mask. Anything else? That's it, thanks man. Some friends you got there, by the way. They're really not that bad. They take their parties seriously, that's all. Yeah, but... Leaving a girl alone at a party, and considering this year's theme, I don't think it's safe. I can fend my, for myself, but thanks for the concern anyway. Things people are capable of while hiding behind a mask is just... Ugh, I should stop. I'm ruining the mood. I'm gonna call you a ca you the cab right now. I'm sure you're itching to leave this dump. The taxi will be here in about f 15 minutes. I'm heading to the bathroom. Just So stay put and be careful. Misa no trust this. The other asshole's gonna come up. Like I said, I can fend for myself. Alright. I'll be right back. I should probably try and call Rika again. Maybe she'll pick up this time around. Messages that dude left could give someone a heart attack. I should explain things to them before the, they freak out. Your call has been forwarded to an auto. Still off. And here I thought of clearing up that stalker's awful voice message. Fine. I'll leave you guys to freak out like crazy then. Hey, not even a simple excuse me. Oh, where are my manners? I am so sorry. I think you should kick their ass, because I think I know where this is going 20 miles away. How can I make it make up this blunder to you, miss? Oh, well, an apo the apology was enough, actually. Oh, no, please, let me do something for you. You look lonely. How about a date, huh? They roofied her drink. This is why I don't fucking party. This is why I don't attend. This is why I hardly have attended any party after the. Since the beginning of my teenage years. It's just this shit happening. People don't think it happens, but fuck off. Um, no thanks. Jeez, I need to stop drinking too much water. Okay. No, really, it's okay. Come on. Let me take you out. You're really cute. I'm fine, okay? 
don't need to do me any favors. Don't be like that. Let's have some fun. Please. All I want to do is go home. Even better, I have a car. Let's go to your place. Dude, please. I already ruined two suits within two days. Don't make me ruin yours. I already said no. Don't you understand what no means? Sure you don't have... You sure you don't want to have some fun with me? Yes, I'm sure. Jeez. Can't take a hint. Hey! You heard the lady, she's not interested. So if you don't leave her alone and get out of here... So why don't you leave and get out of here? Or I'll have to take care of you myself. Thank goodness. That's right, keep walking. You okay? He didn't hurt you or anything. I'm alright, thanks. I see this happen all the time at parties. Guys just won't stop bothering a girl who isn't interested. People can't take a hint sometimes. Speak for yourself. Did you even drink that? Did you even drink that, by the way? No. Do you want to? Yeah, I'll take it. I'm thirsty. I don't want to keep bothering the bartender. Oh, so they knew it was roofied? Anyway, what did they say earlier? It's not safe being alone. What's worse... A lot of these people can get away with a lot of things because of their money. Blech. The heck is this? Didn't you ask for orange juice? Yeah, it's orange juice. And by the way, this pack uh, ends after I get into the cab, alright? So don't get too comfortable. We'll see about that. Did you say? Nothing! Nothing! Ah, the cab must be waiting for you outside. This $50 is all I got. Should be more. And then, uh, here. Oh, boy. Ugh. Um, are you okay? Look like you're about to pass out. Huh? Yes, um, I I'm sorry. My head feels... Sound funny. Well, I'm gonna go, then. Thanks for helping me out. Mr. Stalker. Oh boy. Now I'll just need. Now I'll just wait and see how Rika and Maya reacts. He's going down. Finally, on my way home. Just you? Yeah, why? Well, I was just wondering because of. Because your friend. Thought he was coming because he. He's passed out on the ground. Probably drank too much. What? Ay, kids these days. There's more to life than partying. Mister, I'll be right back. Ah, uh, Mr. Stalker Man? He's dead. <laughs> He's dead and you know it. Seriously, people think that isn't something that actually happens at those kind of parties, but you gotta remember, the other kind... Authors put this in their story because, A, it most likely has happened to them maybe at one point, or B, they've seen it almost happen, C, it's actually a thing, period. They know that these are things, and... <sighs> I just get sick and tired of this. I'm, I don't like parties for this kind of reason. Assholes just getting up in your business. Even as a guy, like, I know it usually happens to girls, but a lot of the time even at me as a guy have had to deal with that. And yes, gay guys have hit on me. And I don't like it. I didn't like it. <laughs> It's creepy. Uh, all right. I guess I'll end the video here. Okay, episode six. Let's just do. <clears throat> Let's just do this. Need to clear the throat. 
I love you. Oh my fucking gosh, he's fucking dead. Mr. Stalker? What's going on? Doesn't look so good. So look, he doesn't look too good. I don't know why I said that. Can't leave him here like this. Excuse me, can you help me out over here? Something happened to your friend? I have no idea. He isn't pranking me, is he? He looks terrible. Not my friend, but it seems like he really needs some help. I need to get him some help ASAP. Of course. Do you want me to call an ambulance? Or do you know where he lives? I can take you guys to his ho to his home if you prefer that instead. I don't know where he lives. What about your place? What? There's no way I'm bringing a stranger to my into my own home. Like I said, he isn't my... Nah, don't call anyone. No hospitals, please. I don't want to start... Com commotion. Hey, hey. Don't... I don't have health insurance. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I will not be held liable if something were to happen. You're going to the hospital whether you like it or not. Can you help me carry this guy to the cab? Of course, one moment. Hey, where are you going? I'll be right back. I just need to turn the motor on. Seriously? What a dick. Hang on, I'll, I'll help you, but I need to turn the motor on because, uh, eh. Did he say, oh yeah, he said on. For some reason, I thought maybe he actually meant off. Finally found you. Positive it's him, 100%. I recognize his cheekbones from a mile away. I follow several blogs indicated, or dedicated to Mr. Hurdleston. One of them posts pictures of nothing but his cheekbones. What kind of blog is that? It's so weird. Do not question the blogs I follow. <laughs> oh no. That, that's that's going to be a meme right here. This is going to be a meme one day. It's like, <laughs> uh, do not question me. Hold on. Didn't you run a blog some about some actor's biceps in the past? You, you're no different. Hey, have you seen Mr. Huge Jack? Eh. Huge jacked man's godly muscles. That's supposed to be Hugh Jackman. They deserved their uh, they deserve their own blogs. I had to shut it down because I couldn't get my any couldn't get any sleep. Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> That's me whenever my life disappears. Which is pretty much any time I go home. <laughs> I didn't even get the chance to take a photo with Mr. Tim Hurdleston. I missed my, missed my chance being graced with the presence of his cheekbones. I don't know if there is anything at this party anymore. Speaking of, I wonder if Shanae found anything to do worthwhile. I've heard of her from... I've heard of her for a while now. Or I haven't heard. Sorry, I'm I'm all over the place because I'm tired. I haven't heard from her for a while now. Didn't you turn your phone off? Shoot, that's right, I forgot. Crap, she called me several more times after. Something happened to her or did she just want to go home that badly? Left a voice message. Put her on Put it on speaker. I want to hear it too. Okay. Yo, I'm just letting you know your friend is at the bar with me and she's had too many drinks. Is that a guy's voice? She won't stop because you ditched her. She's mad drunk right now. Goes over right now. Give me another beer. <laughs> you heard that? You heard that? Well, anyway, I'm just gonna take her home with me. I'll show her how to have a good time when you arrive at my place. Or, sorry, when we arrive at my place. Hey, you're going a little too far now there, buddy.
Just, oh, uh, just stop already. <laughs> this can't be happening. <laughs> Mr. Bartender, can we, can you help us? We're looking for a friend. Have you seen her? Please tell me you've seen her. Oh, boy. They must be the girls she described. What does your friend look like? I see a lot of people while I work here, and you know. Of course. Oh, right, of course. She's got dark brown hair. Her eyes slant upwards a bit, and she's wearing a purple-red dress. Oftentimes, she looks like she wants to murder someone. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I've seen her. Came up here and got an orange juice. You... You have? Oh, thank goodness. Orange juice. Yep. She was here by herself. This dude came up up to her a few minutes later. Dude, what were they both doing? Just chit-chatting, I think. But man, your friend was chugging a whole lot of beers. I think she left with the guy. She needed to go home, that's for sure. She was getting wasted. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I hate this. Now I'm starting to feel bad for these guys. <laughs> oh, this can't be happening. Everything's gonna be okay, Rika. I'm sure she's safe. Are you kidding? That The guy had the balls to call us and tell what he was gonna do. <laughs> oh gosh, I hope she's okay. Sorry about the seat belts back there. I've been asking to get them repaired. How's your friend doing back there? The party, they said. It'll be fun, they said. He blacked out a while ago. Try to keep him on his side. Just in case he throws up, you don't want him chucking, choking on his own vomit. Kinda odd, though. Doesn't stink of booze. Every passenger I've had who was dead drunk reeked of alcohol. Yeah, he smells good. Okay, weird. Hey, I only said that because I thought it was odd, too. Hold on. Does that mean the only thing he drank was my orange juice? Does he have an orange allergy or something? Why would he ask for my drink if he was aware I had orange juice? It's not my fault if he's like that. Ugh. It's not my fault he's like this, right? I didn't know he wasn't a... He was allergic. No, no, he... He was roofied. He was drugged. But what everyone at the bar saw me give him my drink. They believe my innocence. This is bad. Family's probably his family is probably rich. They're probably gonna do whatever it takes to send me to prison. Hey, miss. Why don't you call his family or friends? What? Why? Just to make sure. To inform someone, he knows that he's going to the hospital. Oh, yeah. Sure he has a phone in one of his pockets. Ah, jackpot. Who should I call? Dieter? He's so rich he has his own dietitian? Dang. It's like this Kausuku person calls him often. Probably call him. No, what do you want? You always ignore my calls. Be glad I don't do the same to you. What? A little busy right now. Okay, I'm just gonna back away from that. He's like, turn that off, turn that off. Anyway, I'm calling because... Of... Oh. He, he wants to be left alone. What the heck is going on? Other side of this phone. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm kind of wondering that too. There was a good moment where th there was a good minute or so of me just baffled, calling because the owner of this phone is on the way to the hospital, the Hirahara Memorial Hospital, to be exact. What? What happened to it? Darn, his phone is dead. At least I managed to tell his hospital. Really hope I called the right person. 
Hello, are you still there? Damn it. I leave him for a few hours, and he ends up going to the hospital. No, oh, that idiot. Oh, it's the posh, it's the posh bitch. What the heck happened? Hmm. Well. Hmm. That doesn't look so good. Kind of interesting, though, that, uh... It's kind of weird, actually, now that I think about it. Just this asshole is somehow related to the generous guy who was just wanting to have a little fun. I don't... If they're brothers, it would make sense to me, maybe. But this... I don't understand why they would be friends, unless he... The redhead's just his friend, just to piss him off. Uh, interesting.